Hi, my name is Nico. I'm a teacher at the Harvard Kennedy School, but I'm also a computer programmer and do a lot of consulting about technology. And I care a lot about the changing role of journalism and the way technology is shaping our society and the news. Let's talk about that for a minute. On September 11, 2001, I lived in New York City and I witnessed the terrible terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. I followed the news and the story about what was happening. I followed it almost exclusively by watching TV. Most of the major ways we experience the internet today, Google, Facebook, Twitter, mobile phones, they didn't really exist 10 years ago. And so if I wanted to know what was happening, the only way to find out was to watch the TV news or to read the newspapers. Now I live in Boston. And just a little while ago, we had a terrible terrorist attack at the Boston Marathon. This time, my experience of following the news of that story was completely different. How do you know what to believe when you read it online? What kind of opportunities for good does the internet create? And what kinds of ways might it be dangerous? These are important questions. One thing to think about is how powerful our smartphones are. This little phone is more powerful than a supercomputer that cost five million bucks and filled a room 30 years ago. That's a lot of power to carry around with you all the time. It changes what it means to be a journalist. It changes what it means to be a citizen, to be a part of the news. Anybody can participate in making the news. That's one of the lessons of the Boston bombing our technology changes all these different parts of the news, the making of the news, the consuming of the news. It lets you participate in making and shaping the news. This can be very good and very useful, but it can also be dangerous and confusing. We should think about what we could have done. What should Reddit have done? What should Twitter have done? Maybe we should think about what the Boston police should have done. Or maybe the Boston police and the FBI should have figured out how to take advantage of all the energy that all the people on Reddit had to try and solve this crime and see if they could have channeled that energy into a direction that would have been more useful than identifying the wrong suspect. These are important questions and it's up to you to help figure them out.